Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> um, this video, I'm going to be wrapping Christmas gifts while answering some Q&A from you guys. Shout out to Erica giving me this idea. So, we're gonna do that while I'm wrapping Christmas gifts. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow my links in my bio, my social media. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get on to it. Okay, so the first question I have is what is a holiday dish I look forward to every year? That's a good one. Um, I actually have to get the gifts out first. Oh, I hope it didn't break. Okay. Oh, favorite holiday dish. I, it's not really a dish, but I really like uh, my mom's like cookies she makes, all the dessert stuff, like they're really good. I'm a baker, so I love anything sweet. I have a sweet tooth, so I like those Christmas cookies and stuff like that um, for the holiday season. We normally don't do like anything big with holiday dishes like have a ham or anything we just have kind of whatever I think tomorrow we're doing lasagna but I definitely have to say like the Christmas cookies <laughs> I do love those so yeah um best present you ever you ever gave ooh um I have to say, with that, um, hold on, let me think. The best present I ever gave to someone. Um, <laughs> this is um, best present I ever gave. I really suck at this Q&A thing. <laughs> um, I do like gift giving a lot. I like giving people gifts and then seeing them open it and with a smile on their face that always makes me happy and just feel good. Um, I think with my best friend Aaron, we went out to get dinner. This was pre-COVID. And she <clears throat> is a huge fan of Spider-Man. And I gave her a Spider-Man shirt and then just some um, that I saw in a store. I was like, this is perfect. Aaron's gonna love it. And she did. And then I got her something else that I can't remember, but I was really excited to give it to her. Um, and it was last year. Um, I'll also do more. Um, but that was a good one. Um, oh shoot. Um...
Let's see. Um. Was my sister. I gave her uh, NKU, that's my school, Northern, Northern Kentucky University. I gave her one of those like really nice sweatshirts that are like college sweatsh sweatshirts are, are kind of expensive. So, and she really like loves it and she wears it all the time. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I hope I answered that question. <laughs> that was hard. Um, Best Christmas present that I received. Oh wow. Um, I think it was. Oh, I made this too short. I need to do the other way. Oops. I'm not good at estimating how much you have to do. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, this works. Yes. Um, I need to do the other way. The best present I ever received. Actually, there was a couple good ones. Um, I would say when I got a, <laughs> the Nintendo DS Lite, the not like they're now considered vintage, which is so sad. Now I feel old that those are considered vintage. My <laughs> roommate and I, we ended up getting an like a Nintendo Wii, because those things were so fun to play with. And the guy at GameStop called them, yeah, they're considered vintage. And I'm like, wow, I feel old. Um, but I think that was one of the best presents that um, I received with the Nintendo DS. Because it was so fun playing like Mario Kart and Super Mario Bros. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. Um, so that was like one of those like big gifts when you get kids. Another one, um, my sister and I, we both got one, was the American Girl dolls. Um, I had Jess, and my sister had Kit, and Jess was, a, like, she was, like, like, Japanese, American or something, so, um, that's why my parents got her, because I'm Japanese-American, by the way. And I think that was one of like a really good gift too because um, American Girl Dogs was like so fun to play with like you dress them up and you know and like most of my friends had them and they were like popular back in the day. Um, so that was also a really good gift and I remember my sister and I we got a trundle bed for the American Girl Dogs one year. <laughs> we got a lot of accessories and like um, my sister and cousin and I, when we had American Girl Doll, we went to the American Girl Doll shop in Chicago. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I think that was also one of, like, the best Christmas presents that I've received. And then, of course, <laughs> for all you One Direction fans, I got a One Direction album. It was a What Makes You Beautiful album. I think that's what that album is called. But I literally screamed when my parents got that for me. Like, I listened to that nonstop on my boombox. Um, and I still have it to this day, but that album was a banger. So all you One Direction nerds out there, you better like this video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I guess those are some of my best presents I ever received. Um, mainly as just as a kid. Uh, and I hope that was the question that was answered, like, but the Christmas present you ever received. And then also when I first got my phone, <laughs> I got the iPhone 4S. If anyone remembers the 4S, comment down below. Or if you had like an iPhone 3, an iPod. Um, but yeah, like, iPhone 4 is man, that's also considered vintage now. I think I saw someone at Kohl's actually with an iPhone 4. 
but now I have the six and now that's kind of like dying out too because iPhone 12 just came out. So yeah, I have the six. Not the six as just the six. So time for me getting upgrades, right? <laughs> It's always like Apple always is trying to get you to upgrade your phone when a brand new iPhone comes out. So, this is so dang expensive. I'm also trying to make this like perfect wrapping because I'm trying to better my wrapping skills. So, I'm almost done then I can show you guys my pretty wrapping and you guys can rate it only nice comments though i don't need any hate okay okay oh no this side is really ugly i'm not gonna lie okay the next question is what is your favorite tradition oh favorite tradition um i mean it's kind of going into like the New Year's and not with Christmas, but uh, I would definitely say um, On New Year's Eve, we have my dad's brother, my uncle and aunt, and then my cousin um, come over for New Year's. Oh, hold on, pause. How do we think of this wrapping? I thought this side was pretty good. So, also I do like the wrapping paper. I got it from Target. Look at the penguins, this is so happy. Um, there's one gift. Okay. Um, the one thing, oh yeah, so speaking of the favorite traditions is, um, we would have them over. It started in back in 2013, 2012, 20, going into 2013, when we first started having them over for New Year's Eve. And we would get the fun glasses and the confetti, the balloon. Like my cousin and I, we would always go out, be extra, get get the decorations. We did the photo booth one year. We had the chocolate fountain, do the champagne. And then when we were kids, we did like the sparkling w wine. I almost said sparkling water. <laughs> sparkling wine. Um... And just staying up Sunday night to watch the ball drop. And then my cousin and I wanted to actually go to New York City. And then turns out, like, you'd have to wait in this long line. You couldn't go to the bathroom. Or just like, never mind. But that would be one of my favorite traditions is doing the New Year's party with them. But unfortunately, with COVID, we won't be doing that. We're just going to be just my family and I celebrating New Year's and Christmas together because got a quarantine. We want this pandemic to be over as soon as possible. So, yeah, I guess that's um, one of my favorite traditions that we do. Um, but what is my favorite part of the holiday? Okay, um, I just say, like, it's kind of basic, but I just love seeing my family, and I didn't, this year, I didn't get to go home for Thanksgiving. I ended up doing, like, a small little Thanksgiving, but, um, um, I ended up not going home because... I ended up staying back in my apartment and um but I and because I also was working I have two jobs too so I was working on Black Friday as well so but 
my favorite part of the holiday is just being with family and stuff and you know just hanging out with them and you know spending time with fam um i know that's uh, um but yeah and like also um opening presents and then doing like a breakfast like a nice breakfast opening presents to all together and just you know enjoying the atmosphere the christmas spirit and stuff so waking up and opening presents and also we also do stockings i love stockings so and my mom hung up my stocking so when i came home with all my stocking so yeah so i guess that's a favorite part of one of my favorite parts about the holiday traditions is that. Also, another thing is my mom's sister and I, we like to watch chick flicks, like holiday, like romantic movies. And I think that's in the next question too. So we usually do that, like watch some chick flick over the holiday season. Um, um I think... Yeah, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Okay, so first off is The Holiday. I love that movie. The Holiday is the best chick flick. I don't care what anyone else says, including my dad, because my dad <clears throat> hates chick flicks. But The Holiday is the best movie, like Christmas movie ever. It has Cameron Diaz in it, Kate Winslet, Jack Black, Jude Law. It's great. Like... It's like two ladies that are just like are single and they just need to get out. So they swap houses. One's from London, England, which I've been and I want to go back. And the other one's from LA and they swap houses and it's just really good movie. Highly recommend if you want to watch it. Um, and then another one is... Um, Love Actually is another, like, romantic movie. It's good. There's a couple of, like, famous actors in there. Um, and then... I love the Charlie Brown Christmas movie. It's really cute. Charlie Brown's Christmas. Um, that's, like, a classic. Like, you have to watch that or like during the holiday season um and then the grinch all right guys this is a poll do you guys like the cartoon version of the grinch or their live action one was jim carrey i like both i just saw the jim carrey version for the first time with some friends um a couple weeks ago and it's hilarious i love it actually like it's hilarious so I have to say the Jim Carrey one, but the cartoon one is also very cute. Um, and of course, um, the, oh, another one is the Polar Express. It always makes me want hot chocolate. Like, when I watch it, but it's also such a good movie. Like, it's so good. I actually kind of want to watch it now. I actually kind of want to watch it because it's a movie. I actually haven't. I've been so busy with working that I haven't had time to see any Christmas movies except for The Grinch. Um, so. So, um. This was so hard to wrap. I got my mom these chocolates from this like cute like candy store at this mall my friend Eric and I went to and it's like the milk chocolate with caramel, sea salt caramel. My mom loves this kind of stuff so I got these chocolates because she's been going through a lot recently so it was called Lolly and Pops. That's what it came in. So um yeah okay so we got two presents down and 
I don't know how to wrap this, but I might just leave it like this. Okay, so I don't waste wrapping paper. Oh, another tradition. Also, my legs are really sore from sitting and wrapping this. His name is Rudy, short for Rudolph. Rudolph. <laughs> um, of course, because the little red nose. But I've had him since I was a baby. Uh, story time. When I was a baby, my parents went to this like Christmas gift exchange, and they brought me along. And this guy specifically got it for me but apparently it was really popular when I was going around that circle but he made sure that I got it so I've had Rudy ever since I was a baby so here he is he comes out every Christmas up in my parents attic so um but yeah this is him I guess that you could call it tradition I've had him ever since um he's been through so much <laughs> um he had to get some stitches because like something fell apart. His bell. But yeah, this is Rudy. Hey, that is the camera. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um But those were all the questions that I've had, but I guess I could just keep talking while I'm still rapping because I have a lot. And Okay, so, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I've been, like, working, like, a lot, so, like, I haven't really gotten the time to, like, watch anything, like, Christmas movie that's kind of making me sad because, like, it's al almost Christmas time and I have not had the time to watch any Christmas movies. So I think tomorrow I might watch some Christmas movies um, with the fam if they would want to watch Christmas movies unless they're already sick of it. But who's sick of Christmas movies? Not me, as I haven't seen any. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of like my first vlogmas. I know I'm kind of new at this and I mean practice makes perfect like I just said. Uh, just gotta keep practicing and editing videos takes so long to do. But yeah. So um but if you guys like these Q and A's, we can definitely do more. Um just just comment down below and if you want to do another Q&A, like, I'll post on my Instagram and maybe ask some people, some of you guys, some of my followers to ask me questions about me or about something. Like, you guys can um, kind of go from there. Help your girl out. But hold on. This I want this to be pretty, like, my friend Erica's really good at wrapping presents. She made a TikTok, like a, like a little Christmas ASMR of her wrapping presents, and it's so satisfying. Um, but. Why is it the hardest thing to wrap? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's the hardest thing to wrap. Oh my god. Okay, um. Hello. <gasps> it just ripped it. get better at practicing my wrapping because this is just really
Um, so, oh, another question. Or, so, a holiday, or a creation of TikTok, a creation of something I made from TikTok. I can tell you, and it's like also holiday related. Uh.